Okay, I want to show you guys how to collect a gas over water today, so i got a couple things I'll tell you about. Here's a um, tub of water. It's about half full of water, okay? And I've got a really big graduated cylinder, totally full of water all the way to the top right here. Um, and basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this graduated cylinder, cover it with my hand, and if a little water comes out, that's fine. Cover it with my hand, flip it over as fast as I can, make sure that the graduated cylinder is under the water and then take your hand off so that now I've trapped all the water in here and you notice it's not coming out or anything, okay? So first, that's the first thing you want to do. Make sure it doesn't tip over, all right? Um, got a little plastic bottle cap and a tube connected to it and I've got a little um, bottle that's cut in half so it kind of acts like a little boat. I'm going to put some baking soda in here and I've got vinegar so just going to do a baking soda and vinegar reaction to make some carbon dioxide. So I'll add, I don't know, let's see, maybe, what, around 40 milliliters of vinegar, see if that's enough. I, I kind of want to float the, the boat on that vinegar, so I want to make sure there's enough that it actually floats on top of that. Okay, maybe I'll add a little bit more, so probably, I don't know, anywhere around 50, 60 milliliters or so, depending on the size of your bottle. Okay, um, then I've got this uh, cap here. It's sealed with rubber cement, so you know, pretty, pretty well, tightly sealed environment. And it's just connected to another piece of tubing here, so air can go in and out, or gas, or whatever you're going to make. So I'm going to tip this thing on its side. Well, I guess not yet. I'm going to add some baking soda to this little boat first. So just when you do this, you can measure out you know, a precise amount on a scale. I'm just doing this to show you that, uh, just just to show you the technique of how to collect the gas. So I've got my baking soda in there now. Probably, I don't know, three, four, or five grams, something like that. So now what I'm going to do is carefully put this little guy in here. I don't want it to tip over because I don't want the baking soda to react with the vinegar. So I'm just going to set it inside there like that, making sure the vinegar doesn't get in there. Then I'm going to carefully screw the cap on there and you might want to have somebody help you with this part um, so Grace if you want to screw that on there while I hold it steady just make sure it's tight I'm pretty tight mm -hmm. oh by the way I know. oh it wouldn't lined up let's see it's good is it good okay all right cool so now we got it on there tight and now she's gonna actually thread this underneath the graduated cylinder. Um, you don't want to pinch it too much, so you're going to have to kind of tilt it a little bit. If you pinch it too much, you're not going to be able to collect that much gas. So you can just, yeah, try and thread it up there as much as you can. Not going up there? Here, I'll tilt it a little bit more. Got it in there? Yep. Is that good? Yep. Okay, can you hold the graduated cylinder mm -hmm. there? Okay. So now I'm going to shake this and get my baking soda to um, actually tip over and react to the vinegar and we're going to produce some gas in here and be able to measure it. So that's what I'll do right now. So you can see all the bubbles going in there. That's all carbon dioxide gas being produced from this reaction. And you can kind of see, you want to be careful not to pinch it too much because then the, the gas won't be able to come out. You want to shake it until the point where um, all the bubbles stop being produced. So that'll tell you that all the baking soda is reacted with the vinegar. Okay, and so I got a little bit of bubbling going on down here, so it's pretty much reacted, but okay, now it's pretty much done completely. So, and you can see if I kind of jiggle the hose a little bit, I might get a little bit more baking soda or uh, carbon dioxide to come out. But it looks like I pretty much collected the full amount of gas that I'm going to get. Okay, so now we can remove this and look at the side of the graduated cylinder. And I'm not sure if you can see on the video or not, but um, we've made this much gas. So we just kind of do a backward measurement here. There's 100 milliliters, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So I'm right now about 620 milliliters of carbon dioxide that I produce for my reaction. So that's how you collect gas over water. And see you next time, I guess.